Cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive genetic disease that affects the functioning of the cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator, or the CFTR protein. Under normal circumstances, the CFTR protein binds with ATP molecules to transport chlorine items using active transport, which allows for the movement of water through osmosis, resulting in the thinning of mucus. However, in patients with CF, this protein is either not present or does not function correctly, leading to the buildup of thick sulfactants, including mucus. This genetic disease is the most common genetic disorder in Caucasian populations, affecting approximately 70,000 people worldwide. The gene that codes for the CFTR protein is located in a single locus on chromosome 7. The most common mutation of this gene, affecting 60 to 70 percent of people with CF, is known as F508-DEL. We will discuss the second most common mutation, known as G542X, and the reasons that it should be targeted for the development of treatment. The mutation G542X affects approximately 3,500 people worldwide, especially Jewish populations. It would be best from an, both an ethical and a business standpoint to aid the largest group of people possible. In this mutation, the 1,624th nitrogen base is changed from guanine to thymine, so that instead of coding for glycine, an early stop codon is coded for. This is an example of a nonsense mutation. This results in the amino acid chain being cut off too early. The early stop codon means that the protein will be incomplete, thereby missing essential amino acids that impact the overall folding structure. As a result, the entire protein structure will not only be missing amino acids, but will be folded differently as well, creating a stunted protein that is unable to fulfill its function. The symptoms of cystic fibrosis may show up immediately after birth or not until adolescence or adulthood, and the severity of symptoms may worsen or get better over time. The two most distinctive symptoms are high salinity of sweat and frequent lung infections. The only drug on the market to target mutations of CFTR currently is Ivacaftor. Ivacaftor only treats class 3, 4, and 5 mutations because proteins with these mutations are able to reach the plasma membrane. Because the proteins in the mutation G542X are too short and shaped incorrectly, they would be unable to bind with ATP and therefore unable to open the chloride channel. Instead of reaching the plasma membrane, the CFTR proteins are recycled while still in the cytoplasm. As a result, this mutation is classified as a class 1 mutation. Because CFTR function is not just reduced but completely inhibited, this is one of the most severe mutations. Our mutation is a class 1 mutation. It does not currently have a drug that treats it. Premature termination codon PDC suppressors skip over the early stop codon and is currently being developed to aid in the treatment of class 1 and 2 mutations. If Ivacaftor is paired with a PDC suppressor, an increased number of proteins is able to reach the cell membrane. However, this type of treatment is in the very early stages of development and would benefit greatly from increased research. Additionally, if we are able to find a new treatment for the G542X mutation, then this personalized research could also lead to advancements in medicine for many other genetic disorders.